Good morning everybody, my name is William and I'm from IT Overview and in this video I'm going to show you how you can animate on Android. Yo, what's up, my name is William and as I said today I'm going to show you how you can animate on Android. Maybe you saw my last video of how you can make a 3D intro for YouTube on Android and uh, it's kind of the same so uh, if, if, if you got the point in the last video then you don't have to watch this video. But um, for you uh, guys who are new on my channel, then uh, go ahead and w keep watching this video because maybe um, you will like it, we'll see. Uh, but first of all, uh, if you're going to animate, we are going to need uh, to make a new project. So let's just call that Animation uh, Test. That's good. Then we say OK. And we got that one. We, um, uh, first of all, yeah, this uh, application that I'm using, it's called Lion 3D, and uh, the link will be in the description for the application, so you can go ahead and download it, uh, download it if you want to. But, um, yeah, um, so what we have here, uh, maybe will look a little bit uh, confusing when you're first using it, but I'll tell you how it works. First of all, you got a light. This is uh, pre that, that is pretty easy to understand. It's just light. So usually I pr place my light over my camera on the first frame. Uh, the first frame, it's like a picture in the movie. You know, a movie is built up by pictures. So um, in, in one second in a normal uh, video or movie, there's 24 frames just like here. You can see this is the 24th frame and this is the first frame. So what it's uh, all about is um, when you are when you are on frame number one here, you have the the light right here, or maybe you have the camera right there, right? And then if we go to frame number five, no number six, and then we move it a little bit, like just like that, then you can see then the computer, which is my phone. It does all the work between those, between frame one and six. So we don't have to say how it's going to look on frame number two and frame number three and frame number four and frame number five, because it knows that it's going to go from this position in frame number one to the position in frame number six, and this will look like this. Then it's just moving like that, right? Um, but uh, honestly, I don't want the the light to be moving that much, so I'm just gonna place it right there. So now it's just moving a little bit. That's fine. Uh, so um, also we got a camera right here, which you can see. You also get a little preview in the corner right here, so you can see what is the camera is um, is showing. So the camera, you can also animate the camera by moving it, or you can also rotate the camera like this, so that it will like you know rotate. Um, now I just had to undo like that, uh, but you can see you can that that works in the same way. So if you rotate it on frame number one, and then you go to frame number ten right here as example, then you can rotate it again, and, and then will make the frames in between um, look smooth and good. So, uh, but what right here, what we're gonna need, we're gonna need a figure, or we're gonna need, need something which we can animate and which is funny to watch, to watch on. So I'm just gonna go to models and um, then see what we can get. We can get all of those uh, different kinds of. Uh, let's just take an easy one. I think there was some kind of easy. Maybe uh, that's Spider-Man, zombie, pixel zombie, St Steve. Superman. Mm, what should we take? Uh, there's a lot of like Minecraft looking. Oh, yeah, that this was the one that was that I was looking for. This is just a normal. Green, it's not normal, of course not, but it's just a green man, and uh, we can add that to the scene. So now you can see that in the preview of the camera, it is right in the middle, which is really good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna point. We're gonna set it to frame number one, and then we're gonna say how do we want it to be on frame number one. That's fine. Then we will go to frame number. Let's say from number. Um, I don't know. It's gonna take half a second for him to raise his hand in the air. 
So let's zoom into his hand like that and point on that one and then move it up like that. Maybe a little bit forward. Great, great, that looks pretty pretty nice. Um so now you can see if we play it, he will raise his hand up, which is looking pretty good. Then right here on frame number 24, we will want him to be um Uh, what should we say? Well, uh, oh, what's happening? Okay, well, let's just say on frame number 24, we want him to uh, rotate around. So let's see what how we should rotate him on this X. So we will want him to rotate like that, and then we will want him to scale a little bit up. So he gets a little bit bigger and then we got another uh, a little animation right here you see raising his hand and turning around which is looking pretty good if you want to now we have actually made an animation and you can of course there's a lot of points which you can move around on this uh, model you can see there's like the belly right there the, the neck um, the legs right there down and the feet and um, yeah a lot of things that you can animate if you want to and you can use it as example if you want to make an intro maybe you want to make a school project whatever you want to do but um, then you can add some more frames right here you can see you can just keep adding and um, which is pretty cool uh, I just I just uh, don't want to add any frames how do we re remove a frame I think we'll need to Press on it and then. I have no idea. Uh, that's fine anyway. What you're gonna do when you need when you want to make it to a movie? Uh, what you're gonna do is to press on menu, and then uh, you you can see it says uh, animate and save template and such things. But what you want to do is just save it, export it as a video. So we just press on that one, and then you're gonna pay if you want to do like full HD and such things. So I'm just gonna do. A very low quality so that we can um, render it fast render is just another word for exporting and uh, normal shader and uh, so and then it will um, animate it and um, so uh, after I made my outro I'll just show you the finished result uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful then give it a like down below and Remember to um, subscribe to my channel if you want more good Android tutorials. That would really just be amazing if you would do that. I mean, we are almost at 100 subscribers and it's insane. It has only, only took like one month to get 75 subscribers or something like that. So it's really going really fast. And um, so um, yeah, and tell me what you think and if you have any suggestions for other videos that you want me to do then comment them down below and if you have any questions of course I'll be there to answer your questions. So I just got one last thing to say, peace out.